Welcome to today's episode of Tech Talk Unplugged, where we dive into the fascinating world of AI and machine learning. I'm excited to explore a topic that has been gaining momentum in the tech community, MinGPT, a streamlined implementation of the GPT model in PyTorch. So what exactly is MinGPT, and why is it creating such buzz? Well, think of MinGPT as a smaller, more educational version of GPT models. It's designed to be clean, interpretable, and most importantly, accessible for those who want to understand how these models work without getting bogged down in a complex code base. Unlike many implementations out there, MinGPT aims to distill the essence of the GPT architecture into about 300 lines of code. Pretty impressive, right? It focuses on core concepts like sequence feeding into a transformer and deriving a probability distribution for the next index in a sequence. Now, you might be wondering about the practicality of this model. The creator of MinGPT envisioned it primarily as an educational tool. It's not just about theory, it has practical applications too. For instance, projects like Adder, where it trains a GPT model to perform basic addition, and ChargeP, which builds a character level language model, showcase its versatility. What's interesting is how MinGPT has evolved. Back in January 2023, the creator hinted at shifting focus. With a strong foundation already built, they've decided to move towards producing something that still retains simplicity but also has more robust capabilities, something that can compete with medium-sized industry standards. This shift is emblematic of how the tech landscape evolves. Tools are often born from the need for simplicity but must adapt to stay relevant. Have you ever encountered the terms byte pair encoding or transformer? They sound technical, right? Well, here's a relatable analogy. Imagine trying to efficiently pack a suitcase. Byte pair encoding is like folding clothes in a way that maximizes space, while the transformer model is like organizing your suitcase so you can quickly access all your items without digging through layers. Now let's touch on some technical specifications that may know some listeners want to delve into. For instance, how do you actually get started using MinGPT? The install process is straightforward, just a couple of Git commands, and you're ready to dive into training your version of GPT-2. The life of a machine learning engineer right there. Sometimes more about managing tools than pure coding. And here's a thought-provoking question for our audience. As models like MinGPT become more streamlined, do you think they can still capture the complexities of human language? It's a topic worthy of discussion, especially given the dizzying pace at which language models are advancing. Before we wrap up today's episode, let's take a moment to reflect on the incredible journey of AI development, moving from highly complex models to ones that invite participation from aspiring engineers everywhere. Whether you're an experienced developer or just a curious learner, MinGPT opens doors to understanding some of the most powerful AI technologies available today. So to summarize, we explored MinGPT's simple yet effective design, its educational purpose, and how it serves as a stepping stone for aspiring developers. We touched on its practical applications and sparked some intriguing questions about the future of language models. Thank you for tuning in to Tech Talk Unplugged. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of technology, and who knows, you might just find the next breakthrough waiting right around the corner.